Hello YouTubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander. With me, Blue Ankylo. This is episode 5, and we just finished destroying our first large ship, uh, Rolari. Uh, we did pretty good. Paladin here helped us out. Check our scores again. Uh, still haven't moved up much, but uh, we're sharing our kills with our wingmen, so we're not just... We're not taking all the credit ourselves. So we'll talk to Shot Glass, see what he's got to say. Hey there, Blue. Get you something? Oh yeah, could use a stiff drink. Nope. I'm glad to see you and Paladin getting along so well. He'll be retiring soon, you know. Been flying fighters for 20 odd years. And now they're putting him out to pasture. He and I used to fly together back before the war started. Darn good man. The old claw miss him. Yeah, he's a good man. He, he helped out good that last episode. I'd like to tell you, laddie, it's been good flying with you. We'll be pulling out of a call soon, and the colonel likes to shake up the wings every now and then. So let me give you one last piece of advice. A young wind man ain't gonna stick by you the way I have, lad. No. That's no criticism of him, lad, just a fact. A youngster's got a name to make and a career to think on. He'll be looking out to make a hero of himself. An old man like myself, on the other hand, well, I'm just wanting to make it back so I can retire in one piece. Well, I don't think I'd like flying with Maniac, <laughs> but the rest of them seem pretty good, except for when Spirit shot me. Well, you know, boss man. Blue, sit down. I want to compare notes with you. I've been watching the way Drowthy maneuver, and I think I've noticed something. Seems to me that when you're hot on a Drowthy's tail, and he pulls a loop to shake you, he always goes up or down, never to the left side. Ever notice that? Not really. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> well, they do. Always up or down, never left or right. You know, lad, I believe you're right. I think it's because those big wings block their vision to the sides. But above and below, between the wings, their vision is clear. Uh, again, just kind of like the selfie always turning left. I'm not too sure about that one. Uh, he might be right, but uh, I wouldn't count on it. So, let's see. Nothing new here. Still second lieutenant. I'm hoping to get a promotion this time, you know. We've been doing lots of good work. Mission briefing the call system. 6.30 hours. We're going to be leaving the call late tomorrow. But first, we've got half a dozen sports and tankers coming in. With at least one Kalrathi carrier in the system. We're expecting the hairballs to make a play for most of the sports. Here are the assignments for transport escorts. The colonel makes the assignments for the... The colonel makes the assignments for the... You draw the fun one. I guess the game has typos still. Blue and Paladin will take the last detail. Computer, display side. You'll rendezvous with a Draymond class tanker here at Nav 1. As soon as it arrives, the tanker will head for the Tigers Club. It'll be moving at top speed and won't deviate from its shortest course. So you'll have to protect it from any attackers. Stay close. <laughs> Don't let enemy fighters draw you away from the tanker. Yeah, yeah. Now, one more thing, boys and girls. Intelligence indicates Brack Star Killer may be in the system. Oh boy. Brack Star Killer, sir. He's one of the Kilraz. One of Kilraz's best. Oh yeah, that's the name of their planet. Flies a selfie light fighter. Our records credit him with 64 wins, counting fighters and battleships. So let's all be extra careful out there. All right, squadron dismissed. So you can bet we will run into him. Uh, but he's only flying a, a selfie, so I think we'll be okay. Let's just get on with it. I mean, uh, he'll be way more maneuverable than us, but uh, so nothing special. No, no, no asteroids or mines. Just fly over and pick it up and try not to get destroyed by this maniac star killer. Alright, so getting there. Got some 
Bounce on the radar. Break and attack. Cramping, okay. Not get hit by a missile this time. That's my plan. Alright, that one didn't get me. See, this guy's... This guy's playing... Spinny, spinny. Yeah, that's how we take care. Oh man, spoke too soon. So, uh, yeah, these cramps, eh? They, they give me some trouble. Missiles everywhere. At least they're engaging this time, you know. I don't have to rip with that. Uh, almost crashed. Maybe I should go back to ramming. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, use a missile. We got lots, right? Okay. Oh. Oh. Just going a little bit too fast. Made it to the Draymond, according to that message. All right, got him. So stun fire missiles are pretty good if you can get a little bit of luck on your shot. What? 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 No, no. That's the sad music. That means you failed usually. There's going to be a red dot over here I missed. Maybe... I don't know what's going on. Another crank. I shouldn't have been playing the sad music. We... We didn't lose our Draymond yet. I don't think uh, Paladin died or anything. I'd like to save a couple missiles, heat seekers specifically, in case we run into our, our good friend, the Star Killer. Um, yeah, it's played the sad music. It usually only plays that uh, if this thing gets blown up or, you know, you fail your mission, but uh, I think we're doing fine. Pay no attention to this music. It's not sad yet. Now, if that blows up, you know. Then that's fair. So, oh, surprise, surprise. And what have we got? Burak, got him right off the bat. That's Burak Starkiller, you can see. Me and Paladin are both focused on him. We'll see if we can make some short work out of this guy. He likes to fly around, that's for sure. Paladin's missile got him, but mine didn't yet. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah, look at that. No problem. No problem at all. I think there's four killed at the aces. And that was one of them. So. Probably the easiest though. I mean these selfies aren't that scary. They uh there's far, far worse ships out there. <laughs> I wasn't even moving. He's ramming me. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'm sure my speed was zero for that. I was just trying to turn around and he kept ramming into me. Flying in circles there. Well, didn't do him any good. So, we killed ourselves. Aw, oh, sad music. Psh. We killed ourselves an ace. Our Draymond transport still looking good. Uh, no trouble, really. That was that was cake. Cake and pie. <laughs> uh, look at that. Look at all that armor I've got. No problem. Paladin survives, you know. 
nothing to complain about. What do they say? A little hot, yeah, a little hot, I'd say. Not too many problems, I don't think. Mission debriefing. Oh, 630 hours. Something like that. Well done, gentlemen. The tanker commander asked me to commend you both. And my personal congratulations for dispatching Burak Starkiller. Oh, yeah. I'm just glad to get that sport back to the tank. Claws. Yeah, that's right. Now, don't go discounting the fun and giving the hairballs a black eye, lad. Enough of that, though. Let's review the mission. You racked up seven Kilrathi. I think that's a new record for us this play. Good. Paladin came up empty. Aw, oh, shucks. And you shot down Burak Starkiller. Oh, yeah. Everything else aside, Blue, that was excellent work. Thank you. And I want to see you in my office later, Blue. Huh? Dispits. Colonel Halcyon's office. 1650 again. Blue, come in. I need to speak with you. Yes, sir. I've been speaking with Sector Command. The brass have been reviewing your record, and I have good news. The order came in this morning. I've been authorized to promote you. Congratulations, First Lieutenant Blue. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. I'll do my best. Oh, yeah. We'll be leaving McAuliffe soon, and I need to make some personnel changes. Effective immediately, following the jump, you'll be reassigned. I need you in Rising Star Squadron, flying a Raptor-class heavy fighter. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yes, sir, you won't be sorry. Not at all. Good. Glad to hear it. Oh, yeah. That's some good news. Promotion and a better ship. Oh, handsome story, too. Meanwhile. Turan Research Colony. Call of Six. Kilrothi Marines invading the Call of Civilian Research Installation. Met desperate and resourceful human scientists. Armed with improvised weapons and remarkable courage, the researchers managed to capture the entire Kilrathi platoon. So that is the sign that we have succeeded in our missions. Those story segments go far, far worse if you do not succeed. So if we say we hadn't blown up that uh, Rolari ship or we hadn't escorted that Draymond back, that might not have happened and we'd be going to a different sector than Gimli. Gimli, eh? And we probably wouldn't be flying a Raptor either. So, let's wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching again. Uh, we're finally leaving that scimitar behind us. It's ditched. You can park it in a junkyard and we're on to the Raptor, which is one of the best ships, definitely. So, thank you for watching my Let's Play, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Take it easy.